All right, we got the guitar ready to paint. And before I do any painting, what I'm going to do is I am going to take rubbing alcohol. Do not use denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol at the hardware stores will screw your paint job up. You just want to use regular old rubbing alcohol. And all we're doing is going to go over the guitar to get the dust and imperfectional uh, cont cont containment contaminant off of it. The greases and the oils if there's any on it. And I'll show you this here in a minute when I get done with it. And like I said before, I used to paint a lot of guitars. But I got out of it and I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you. Um, the way that materials have skyrocketed and people just don't want to pay the labor to have it done, it's not worth it anymore. So this is actually a tri-stage paint, and when I say that, I'm talking about three stages of painting, not two. Normally you would have a base coat, clear coat. In this situation, we got two colors and one clear coat. Now you're looking at three cans here, and the reason you look at three cans, because this setup right here that we're looking at, that's actually a Cadillac candy apple red. Okay, and we're not going to use the bottom one. The only color that we're going to use in this pack right here is this candy apple translucent red that you're looking at right there. And the first coat that we're going to put on this thing is going to be this right here. And this is called Sparkle Aluminum. This is the most sparkly, uh, I don't know if you can see it sparkling, but that is the most heavy metallic uh, paint that you could buy um, to do this. For a gallon of this silver that I'm using, it probably costs about $800 to $1,250. Bucks. So we're not going to use a lot of this because it's very expensive. We're just going to mix up enough just to paint it with. And then whatever we have left over, since this is a base coat paint, we can go ahead and uh, put that back in the can for further use. We want to put two to three coats of this on the guitar. So it's going to look like a silver guitar, but uh, when you see the candy apple go on, I think you'll be surprised. One thing you should always do before you paint is always strain your paint. I don't care what kind of paint it is or what you have or what it is, especially heavy metallics. You always want to strain your paint. All right, let's get our paint mask on and go ahead and spray our first color on the guitar body, which is going to be silver. candy paint that I got, uh, silver did not work. Um, once again, the paint that I'm using is actually a factory car paint color and not an aftermarket candy color. So I was attempting to do a sunburst finish. I was going to do red around the center and then gold in the middle, but as you see, that's pretty much what we got out of it, which is kind of tacky. Now, I want to go ahead and say this. Um, this is basically what happened to me the first time I painted it. I tried to do a custom paint job on it, and it went south on me, and that's why I left it the way it was. So maybe this guitar might be spooked a little bit on actually refinishing it. Um, I don't know. So since this didn't work, the attempt that I made on it, what I got to do is I have to take some 1,000, this is 1,000 grit, and I'm using water, and I have to sand the finish down because now we actually have a rough surface from painting it and overspray and everything else that was going on, 
and I didn't show you that because I was testing out the waters but yeah it didn't work so we have let the paint dry now for approximately 30 minutes I'd say and this is just base coat it doesn't have any clear coat on it and I am going to just sand this down lightly just to clean it up and get the overspray off of it. So I've actually basically sanded the paint down so it's glass smooth again. Um, and now I'll go ahead and hang it up and dry it. And then we're going to do a sunburst paint job on this from red to gold. And we're going to use the factory candy apple paint uh, base coats before we put the candy apple on. Silver did not work for us people. What a shame. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn the fan on here. And what we got here, we got our red in the little gun and our yellow in the big gun. I'm going to paint yellow in the center. I'm going to paint red on the outside. We're going to try to make a sunburst uh, paint job out of it. And then we'll come back with our candy colors. Now that we got the guitar painted, um, I went ahead and put two coats of clear sealer on top of the paint. And it really came out pretty nice. I actually like it. Uh, once we clear coat it for the final clear, it'll really make that, uh, that candy apple and that pearl really stand out. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take my 1500, this is 1500, um, this is what we used yesterday on the silver. Now it's going to dull it out. Once again, this is sealer. This is a clear seal that we put on it to protect the raw paint while we do our minor relicking that we're going to do to it. And we're not going to do a lot of relicking. Um, I'm just going to do enough to make to match the uh, the hardware that's on here. So it's not going to be heavy relicked. By doing this, we're taking the orange peel out of it and making it 
like I said, glass smooth. Okay, there you go. Um, so we just sanded down with thousand grit and it's ready to clear coat. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a relic job on it. And I'm going to pull my sleeves up for this. Now, once again, we are not going to make this a uh, we're not going to make this a hardcore relic job. Just going to be a light, mild relic on it, just kind of to match the hardware and the old pit guard and everything else. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get us a paint stick. And we're going to break the paint stick right there, just like that. Now this is 400 wet, is what this is. So we're going to wrap our paint stick with the 400. And I suggest if you're going to do this type of action to your guitar that you use a paint stick as a sanding block. And then normally where the guitar usually wears out is in this area right in here where your arm would lay on it and then of course down in here. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to kind of get rid of some of the paint on the edge right here. We're going to kind of burn through it. And we're not going to do a heavy relic like I said. We're just going to do a light relic on it where it looks like the guitar has been played. And you can kind of see it coming through right here if you look real close. You can see where I'm sanding through the edge right here. We're not going to get real heavy with it like I said. And we're just going to make it a nice light relic finish. There, that looks nice. I like that. And then on the back of it, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit on this edge right here. We're not going to do it real thick. Like I said, this is just a light relic, a light relic job on this. So we're just going to go ahead and get it like that. There we go. Because I'm actually going to put a high gloss finish on this. This is not going to be a dull finish. Well, just a little bit right here. We are now ready to go ahead and clear, put the final clear coat on this. So I'm going to get it all prepped up and clear coat it and uh, go from there. I went ahead and let the guitar sit for two days after I clear coated. I put uh, three coats of high gloss urethane clear on it. And what I'm going to do now is I am actually going to buff the guitar. Now the reason we do this is to get the imperfection out and the orange peel. We want a nice glossy, high gloss, smooth finish. So I'm taking my rubber block just like I've been using, 1500. This is 1500 wet. All right, and we're just gonna block it out. Now you can see it's turning creamy white. That means that we're sanding the clear coat. That's what we want. I'm checking to make sure that I got all the orange peel out of it. That's the main thing that I want to get rid of. I don't want any orange peel in the finish. So the next thing I want to do is I got this right here. This is 3,000 grit and this one is 8,000. So I'm going to go ahead and take this DA sander that I have with the 3,000 and now this was 1,500. Okay and then what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and wet this down and then we're going to DA sand this with our 3000 grit.
Okay, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and get our 8,000. This is 8,000 right here. And this is actually going to sand it and polish it. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the guitar over and I'm going to repeat my process of what you just saw on the back of it. Okay, now that we have sanded it down, we're all done with our sanding. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and buff this out. We're going to go ahead and take this tool right here and then we will buff this out with automotive rubbing compound. That's what we're going to use. Now remember, I went down to 8,000 grit. So what I got here, I got an air drill. Now you can use an electric drill as long as it's a variable speed. And then um, we got a wool pad right here. And we're going to go ahead and buff this out using our uh, automotive rubbing compound. it off we're going to go ahead and take this right here perfect it machine polish and we're going to go ahead and polish it out with this and I think this will give us that deep super deep gloss that we're looking for and we're going to use a black foam pad on that I got to say, that is one glossy, look at that, yeah, looks great. I'm going to go ahead and repeat my process on the back of the guitar, and then we're going to wrap it up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean this off using some instant detailer I got here. Uh, it's just a cleaner is all it is. It's not a wax. It's nothing. It just cleans the surface off. And makes it really nice. Gets all the wax and the dirt and the slime off of it from restoring the guitar. And don't forget, we still got tape right here we got to take off. But, uh, yeah, that shine on that is beautiful. Anytime you paint a guitar, you always want to cut, uh, cover your neck pocket. That's very important to do. And the reason is, is because that's a precise area where your guitar is going to sit. So, there. Alright. And we still got the factory labels on it. Right there, and markings. To prove the authenticity of what this is. And once it's all done and all put together, there's our guitar. Came out beautiful. And you kind of actually see why. I went ahead and did a minor relic on it. Now this is all under the clear coat. I just want everybody to know. I relicked it before I clear coated it. And it came out really, really nice. So if you're interested in painting your guitar, I suggest that you follow the angle that I just showed you. And look at the gloss on that. That's really nice. Uh, go ahead and follow the instructions I gave you and paint your guitar.
Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. I hope you learned something. And we'll be taking that guitar and enjoying the nice brand new finish that I put on it. A hundred times better than what it used to look like. And uh, hopefully play it. <laughs>